feel like you can't talk about 2019 gadgets and stuff without talking about. Come on, spit it out, Erica. Ugh. The pot. Hey y'all, hey, Erica with Time to Shrink. I am coming at you with a 2019 favorites. These are a few of my favorite things. Let's talk favorite things, y'all. I have a whole bunch of stuff sitting in front of me that are my favorite things of 2019. It was so hard to narrow it down, but I know this doesn't need to be like 50 million hours long, so let's just jump into it. I'm gonna start with food. I personally follow a keto diet, as most of my viewers probably already know. I am gonna share my absolute favorite keto foods, mainly like snack or on the go type foods. I'm not gonna bring out like the regular like, oh my favorite thing is chicken or my favorite thing is beef. I'm not gonna like bring out the beef or the chicken or the, you know, the basics. Yes, I eat a lot of that stuff, but I'm gonna bring out like the specialty like treat type things. So, Perfect Keto, I absolutely love this brand. By far my favorite keto brand. There are so many things these days because keto is kind of catching on, which is amazing, but a lot of them have some poor quality ingredients and I only wanna share things with you that I feel like I can eat often, I could eat cleanly and is not going to harm me in any way. So, Perfect Keto, absolutely love Perfect Keto products, but the one that I wanna talk about is the bars. They are super clean, they are super, super tasty. I don't like all of the flavors, but I am obsessed with Cinnamon Bar. I will eat all of the other flavors, but my hard-earned money is going to buy me Cinnamon Bar. And there are always codes for Perfect Keto to get discounts. They were kind enough to give me one to share with y'all, so I'm gonna put that down below for you to get a discount on Perfect Keto. Their stuff is a little bit pricey, but in my opinion, it is so, so worth it to have some convenience foods that I can take that I trust. So, do you need me? No, I just need to get in the kitchen. You can go behind me, it's okay. okay. You, yeah, I just need to get dirty it's though, fine. So just I have people home today, so people are gonna be in and out. It, it is what it is. The next thing that I like to have, this is often an evening snack for me. Another thing that I like to take on the go to, Wisps Parmesan Cheese Crisps. All this is is Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese, the cheese culture's sea salt. So that's it. And they're really, really high protein. You get 23 of these, I have that memorized, 23 of these for 150 calories, 10 total grams of fat, one carb, protein's 13. So 13 grams of protein for this. And for me, because I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery, I really, really do focus on my protein and I don't eat large quantities of things. Things that I can get in enough protein while getting fat at the same time are things that I gravitate towards. So I love that my Perfect Keto Bar, y'all I didn't tell you what was in a Perfect Keto Bar. Sorry, let me read that real quick. Almond butter, soluble tapioca fiber, collagen protein, cacao butter, organic cashews, MCT oil, sunflower lecithin, cinnamon, natural flavors, MCT oil, acacia fiber, sea salt, and stevia. So that is pretty darn clean for a bar, y'all. And then nutrition facts, one bar is 220 calories, 17 total fat, 12 total carbs, nine dietary fiber, one total sugar, and 11 grams of protein. So I get 11 grams of protein in this, I get 13 grams of protein in this, and they both have a good amount of fat as well. So I absolutely love these. Um, Food-wise, this is not technically food, but I have become obsessed with this Stash brand in particular, but this is their decaf pumpkin spice, and I am loving it. It doesn't taste super pumpkin spicy to me, it just tastes like cinnamony and some other spices. Like, I don't drink this and feel like I'm having pumpkin, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But the spices that go along with pumpkin spice, yes. So this has become like a wintertime thing for me that I am very, very much enjoying. I've been leaning more towards the spice than the peppermint this year, personally. Another thing is my sweet leaf drops, y'all. My sweet leaf drops are stevia drops that I use to sweeten my coffee. I do sometimes use Jordan Skinny syrups and I do enjoy those, but I don't feel like those are the healthiest thing for me to have on a daily basis, whereas sweet leaf drops I am able to have on a daily basis and feel good about. It is just stevia, they have tons of flavor I have the clear, I love the English toffee, I love the pumpkin spice, I love the vanilla, 
they even had like a root beer one if you wanted to flavor like sparkling water anyway so i love my sweet leaf drops i and they last forever they're not super expensive because of how long they last i think this is like 12 dollars for a small and maybe 20 for the big one but they just last forever and i use them like on a daily basis the next thing, if y'all watch Mary, if you've watched me very long, you've probably been wondering when this was gonna come into the video. Fresh Jack's spices, y'all. I am obsessed with Fresh Jack's spices. They are by far the cleanest, tastiest spices I have ever found. They are all organic, then they are preservative free. That's the big thing. There are no fillers. So many spices out there have so many yucky fillers. Fillers is not a thing with Fresh Jack's ever. It's organic and it's preservative free and it's just freaking tasty y'all i gave so many spices away for christmas so i thought i'd maybe share some of my very favorites with you they have these really cool gift boxes and if you order five of this size or three of this size and you can just try out some different things you can order them just buy one at a time like this one at a time like this or in a gift size i do have discount codes for you for fresh jacks for 15 percent off down below but i thought i'd share some of my favorites absolutely love toasted onion absolutely love keto chop house smoky southwest is they also have a taco seasoning but i find that smoky southwest is my absolute favorite and what i reach for the most when i'm making taco season type things i just really like the smokiness in it i love this one then they make a spicy all-purpose and it is so good on everything so this one is empty i have a backup and a bigger size now originally what i did was i ordered small sizes to try and then I ordered big sizes of things once I knew I like them. That's kind of a way to go. But truthfully, y'all, I haven't ordered any that I didn't end up reordering in a bigger size because I've liked every single one of them. So that's that. Any more food? No. So the next thing is kind of some supplement type things, and I'm not gonna go over my whole supplement supplement routine by any means, but I just wanted to show you a few products that I really, really like to have on hand, and I feel like have enhanced my life or helped me in some way. So per, back to Perfect Keto, they have B, base BHB capsules. They also have um, powders that you can put into stuff, but I like the capsules. Basically what this is is exogenous ketones, I don't take exogenous ketones on a daily basis. I don't think we need it. Basically what that means is ketones that are produced outside of our body. So the goal is in keto, we want our body to be producing ketones. But if you've had a cheat day, you've gone out of ketosis for some reason, this will help. It doesn't help get you back into ketosis faster as far as your body burning it, but it gets you into ketosis because you literally are taking ketones. Does that make sense? So it just helps you feel better in the process of starting to burn your own again. So if you are just starting out on keto, these are kind of a little cheat. If you take these on a daily basis, you could probably skip the keto flu. These are not cheap and I would never suggest these on a daily basis. I just don't see the point personally, but I think there's a time and a place and I like to have these on hand. If I've gotten kicked out of ketosis and I'm getting back in, or I've had kind of a high carb day and I'm not really out, but I'm feeling really down on energy. These are great little energy boosters. So that's what I use these for. Then I have something called Pure Planet sports salts. Again, if you're just getting into ketosis, these could be a lifesaver. These are a supplement that has potassium, magnesium, and pink Himalayan sea salt. And they have more of that than any of the other pills that I've found. And I find that these are life-saving for me when I'm getting back into ketosis or if I've been a little low on some of my supplements, for me personally, I absolutely have to stay on top of my sodium and my potassium and my magnesium or I don't feel good. I can get dizzy, I can pass out. I have some health conditions, so I'm not saying everybody's gonna go through that, but everybody when they start keto needs to figure out how they're gonna get their supplements in. And for the main part, the re what I use to get in my supplements is I have two of these zip fizz a day. I find Zip Fizz to work for me really, really well, but 
if I've gone out of ketosis and I'm getting back in, or if I'm starting to feel really dizzy or something like that, I have two things that I reach for. I reach for Malden sea salt and we'll put them immediately under my tongue, or I'll reach for this. If you're getting a little bit of a headache or flu-like feelings when you're trying to get back into ketosis, you probably need sodium. And I love these because it doesn't just give me the sodium, but it gives me the potassium and the magnesium. But for a daily basis thing, Zip Fizz is what I use to keep my electrolytes stable. Zip Fizz has the most potassium of any supplement that I have found. So you do need to pay attention to that. You can't have like six Zip Fizz a day. They also aren't super cheap, but there is 950 milligrams of potassium in one Zip Fizz, which is the most of any electrolyte supplement I have ever found. If you know of another one that's this high, I would love to know. I think Zip Fizz has a couple ingredients that are not my absolute favorite, but for me and my health and how I feel on a day-to-day -day basis, Zip Fizz makes a huge difference for me. The other nice thing about Zip Fizz is it ha if you have two of these a day, you're getting all of the vitamins that you need. So it's like you're taking a multivitamin, you're taking some potassium, you're taking some magnesium, so it's just a great thing to have. All right, lost my place, had to talk to a kiddo, and I totally forget where I was. I know I was talking about Zip Fizz. Oh, it has, not only does it have my the multivitamins in it, I love that. It does have some caffeine in it, which I don't mind because I dilute it like crazy. I dilute it in a whole glass, 32 ounces of water, so I'm fine with that caffeine. That does bother some people, so I'm just letting you know that that's in there, but Zip Fizz, is just a godsend to me. All right, y'all, I gotta speed this up. Okay, next, we're gonna try and fly through some of this stuff. Okay, next is my favorite deodorant. I am obsessed with this Kapari deodorant. It smells like the beach, but this is my absolute favorite deodorant. It goes on really, really well. I absolutely love it. I feel like it's really, really hydrating under my arms, and I just really, really, really like this deodorant. It is by Kapari. You have to order it online. I have never seen this at the store. I don't know if they sell it at Sephora, maybe. I think they may sell these products. I've liked all their products that I've tried, but this is my ride or die. I absolutely love. I just love the smell of it. I love how it works, and I like the cleanness of it. Kapari deodorant. All right, this is something that I put on my lips. It's by City Lips. It's for lip plumping. It's just clear, there's no color, although I do think they make colors. Another thing I had to order, it's from City Lips. I'll try and link all this stuff down below if I can. But what it does is plump your lips. It says to give it a month. So at first I was like, no way, I'm returning this immediately because I didn't realize that, but they won't even let you return it for 30 days. So that was the downside, but they will give you your money back after that amount of time. But I just kept using it because at first it did not seem like it was plumping at all, but whatever is in it is super hydrating. So I just kept using it, said to use it at least once a day, and then within 30 days you would see a plumping difference. Now, every single time that I put it on, it plumps. I don't know why it work, takes like weeks to actually work, and then all of a sudden, every time you put it on, it works, but it does. So absolutely love this stuff. Next is my favorite mascara. This is by far my ride or die mascara now. This is Lash Sense by Cinegence. Cinegence makes lots of makeup products. They also make the lip scents that people hear about. I'm wearing lip scents right now. I love that product as well. But this, they have waterproof and non-waterproof, but it also grows your lashes. And y'all, my lashes have really seen a big difference since this. So not only does it help grow my lashes, but I love how it applies. I love how it makes my lashes look. Really, really love this stuff. The next thing that I've been using for a really long time that is absolutely one of my ride or dies is Benefit Give Me Brow. I have my eyes microbladed, so I don't have to use a whole lot. And, but on days that I do a full face of makeup, I use this. It has this teeny tiny little wand and it just, it just finishes it off perfectly for me. It helps. I have a couple little places that are a tiny bit sparse and I use this and I absolutely love it. Give me brow. Now, if you were really wanting to paint on brows, like you don't have brows, this is not the product for you. You may use this conjunction with a, something else. But if you just need a tiny bit of work and you want something that's really quick, this Benefit Gimme Brow, I love. The next product is an eye product. This is a dupe for, what is it, Urban, the Urban Decay makeups. The Urban Decays have like a cherry palette. 
I forget what it's called, but it's these kind of colors. And this I got on Amazon for like 10 or 12 bucks. And it's these colors. I love, love, love. Can you see them? I don't have this on today, but it's these colors. I absolutely love them. You can do a super neutral eye or you can really kick it up. You can do a lot of things with this. It does have some fallout, so I kind of make sure that I hit my brush off before I put it on, and I usually do my eyes before I do the rest of my makeup. So it does have a little bit of fallout, but I absolutely love these colors, and I, for the price, I was super, super shocked. Got these on Amazon. The next thing, it's not not the Mia. This is the Clarisonic Mia. I've used this for years to wash my face, and you just replace the heads. But now they have, and maybe this isn't new, but it's new to me, they have a makeup brush, and you put your makeup on your face, and then you use this as the brush to brush it in. And I have been using this only for a month, but long enough to know that I'm obsessed. I feel like my makeup goes on way more smoothly. I have been trying a few different makeup products. I'm trying to find a new face makeup that's not super expensive, but I'm having trouble. So I feel like in my videos lately, my makeup has looked a little weird and it's been because of the colors and not because of this. So today I just went back to my Dior. It's my kind of ride or die, but it's expensive. So I'm trying to not spend a ton of money on makeup moving forward. I can easily spend a ton of money on makeup. So yeah, this brush head is amazing. So I had to share that because I didn't even know it existed love it love it love it i just it comes off so easily so i just twist it off and put my face wash thing on and then vice versa so i love it the next thing is my favorite bath salt this is old whaling company it is a local south carolina charleston south carolina company and it is bath bombs they also have soaps and some other products but their bath bombs are my favorite bath bombs ever i absolutely love them i love that i'm supporting a local company but I would buy them from wherever. I have not contacted them. Why can I not say that? I have not contacted them. Okay. I have not contacted them. There we go. Got it. To ask for a discount. So maybe I'll do that, but it'll at least be linked down below. The next thing is, is my what I drink out of. I absolutely am obsessed with these. I only have two. I wish I had a ton of them, but I use them on a daily basis. I've used them on a daily basis all year long. Well, this one I got in the fall. This one I got last year. I've used it all all year long and it still looks brand new. This is from my friend Tanya, Voodoo Queen. She is VDQ Creations at on Instagram. I'll link her down below, but she will make any design you want or I even will just tell her, just made me something that you think I love. She made this. This says, hey, fall, hey, and I'm obsessed. This one, I asked I designed this one, but this one she designed for me and I absolutely am obsessed. So totally recommend these. She will make them in any size you want. They are great for gifts. They are just great to have. I absolutely love these. The next thing, I feel like you can't talk about 2019 gadgets and stuff without talking about this. This is the Mini Dash Waffle Maker. I have tons of chaffle recipes. If you're a keto person or even if you're not, the craze of 2019 of chaffles. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to go watch one of my videos up here about chaffles. But basically, it's cheese and egg turned into a waffle. And I know that sounds weird, but oh my gosh, y'all. If you get the right, if you do your recipe right, there are so many things you can do with this. I have chicken parmesan sandwiches. I have... Um, chocolate ones. I have peanut butter ones. I have so many great chaffle recipes. So go look at those y'all. Um, the next thing is a cleaning product. Super exciting, but it is. doTERRA is a essential oils brand. I don't sell it, but I love it. I use it for all kinds of things, but on guard is probably my favorite product that they make. It comes as an essential oil. It's a blend of essential oils in a little essential oil bottle, but they also make a concentrate cleaner and it's on guard cleaner i have used this for years ever since i had kids and i wanted them to be able to help me clean but i didn't want them touching chemicals and so then i started looking into essential oils led me to this absolutely love this stuff i put a little bit of this in a bottle with water and that is what i use to clean like everything if something's gonna be harder to clean you can add a little bit more of this but i 
I'm obsessed with this. I, I love it. I always have multiple bottles of it on hand. Next thing is my CBD oil. Premium Jane Premium CBD oil. It comes in all different flavors. This particular one is citrus. They have a mint. They have original. I, I don't know what all of them are. But they have different strengths. And I, for the first time this year, have gotten into CBD oil. I feel like it helps with my anxiety. I feel like it sometimes helps a little bit with my pain. I take it on a daily basis. And then sometimes I'll take a little bit extra if I'm having like a Big anxiety day or something like that but I absolutely love this stuff I think this product is really really great and I do have a discount code for y'all on that below there are so many different CBD oils out there and it can make it crazy this is why I didn't start CBD oils because it's so expensive and how the heck do you know what brand to get so this one if you go to their website they go into detail on how how much work they put into making sure this is good quality and they had they sold me on that their website is so so great and goes into so much detail and made me feel confident in trying their product and I do have a code below for you for that what else is in front of me here I have a piece of clothing I have it in white and I have it in black this is by yummy.com and it just looks like a little tank top just looks like a little tank top but it is compression wear with so much thought. On the inside, there is two layers of this really thin mesh. It looks like nothing hardly, but there's two layers of it. You can then put both layers in front for major compression. You could put both layers in back if you have a lot of back fat rolls or something that you want to compress, or if you want like a medium compression, you put one set in the back and one set in the front and it compresses both sides. Like I have never seen any other company do this and I just think it's genius and they're not expensive. I forget exactly how much it was. I don't have a discount, but they're not expensive. And the compression doesn't go up over your chest. It stops under your chest. So you're not like compressing in the girls or anything. I just think this is genius. You can get it with these little skinny straps like this or you can get it with a little bit thicker straps so it depends on what you're wearing it under also one side is scoop neck the other side is v-neck so you can wear this frontwards backwards compression in the front compression in the back compression both ways like yummy.com genius genius and it's one of the cheaper compression wares that you can find it's also super super high quality i've had these for a while and they work super super well y'all i feel like the lighting just got really really funky i should not be doing this on a rainy day but it is what it is i hope y'all can see everything all right so oh my gosh y'all i forgot the spatulator i feel like this is a big tool of 2019 too i feel like if you don't have one of these i don't i don't know why you don't have one of these you need one of these this literally costs five dollars on amazon y'all five dollars and basically it's a meat chopper it has like kind of sharp ends. Just use it to chop meat. It sounds like why would I need an extra appliance or an extra gadget just to chop meat? But I swear y'all, this is amazing. You need this in your life. I first saw it on Keto Ginja. She has an amazing YouTube channel. She also has a cookbook. Y'all go check that out. But she calls it the spatulator and forever in my mind, it will be the spatulator. But I think it's officially called a meat chopper. And that is all of my favorite things, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this. Please share down below what some of your favorite things are. Is there something that a product or something that you think I really need to check out? Tell me about it, y'all. Bye, y'all. I hope you have a really, really blessed new year.